Hello everyone and welcome back to Manor Lords. Looking at our Oxen fleet that is delivering the logs to the manor area. So this should significantly speed up construction time as there's quite a few logs being required for this. But before we begin, let me quickly introduce you to the sponsor of this video, Rage Shadow Legends, a massive true console level experience on your phone. Explore millions of champion combinations and master tactics as you take on raid bosses, dungeons, campaigns and PvP arena matches. With your hundreds of artifacts, you can enhance the power of your champions, build the team of your dreams and raid your way to the top. I've been playing raid for a while now and I love the feeling of my champions, Sissia, Flame Tong, Brachus the Shifter and Judge. They have amazing abilities like protecting my team, dealing massive AoE damage and healing my wounded champions, all the while using beautiful animations. I felt deep satisfaction when overcoming a massive challenge like the final boss of a campaign chapter or defeating other players due to better tactics. And right now, there is an amazing Halloween promotion where you can win real-life prizes such as a $1,000 Amazon gift card, some epic and legendary Halloween champions and more. The best part is, Raid Shadow Legends is completely free to download. Just download Raid with my link in the description and get started. There's seriously never been a better time to get started as you can also use my DK Rises promo code to instantly level any champion to level 50. And if you haven't started yet, click on my link or scan my QR code to get bonuses worth $30, such as the free champion Rector Draft right away. All of this is available for the next 30 days and only for new players. See you on the battleground. At the same time also, we have finished the next Burgage plot over here, growing now. I think no one moved in yet. Oh, okay. So we are at 98. I hope that we can breach now the 100. And let's just assign another vegetable garden to this one then too. I mean, we don't have enough vegetables yet. That should be should be fine. Approval rating is at 55. So we do have a nice food variety right now. That's what people like. And we also have the church. And in that case here, yes. <laughs> this is really truly a, a big construction ongoing here. With many, many people, as we can see, involved in it. Still taking a bit of time, but it's getting close. One more log is then missing, and also the fence is coming along. Where's this guy going, by the way? So he's coming out again. I think he was just getting confused a bit and wanted to scroll into the forest. But that's looking fine, and the last log is also being delivered now. And they can finish that fence in no time. First though, we need to finish our new residential zone. A few more people can't hurt. That's where you use our three oxen right now. Getting really cramped there on the main road. And as these houses finish, we finally also breach 100 people, total population. I guess we are now a medieval city, because 100 is actually quite a lot already for medieval terms. Um, yeah, let's also add some more again. Wealth-wise, we're still not doing really that much better, so let's just go with the vegetable garden. I'm going to keep the other two empty for now, um, because really we don't need more vegetables, and I would like to wait for a bit more wealth to, to go for more variety again, right? So milk and eggs, even though we have plenty of that in stock as well. These guys are really doing something, right? Yeah, they're transporting, right? So they're still selling goods, fine. But it's of course taking time, as we can see. So there's only a bit of wealth coming in there from time to time. So right now I'm waiting for timber. There we have it. Ten. Do we really have ten? That was that was a, a quick jump, but I guess it's just happened so fast now with those three oxen. Very good. Ten timber. How much does a manor house cost us? Ten timber. We have all of it. So we can go ahead and start the construction of this new building. No bugs this time. We can add it safely. And let's do this, the manor house in construction in this very beautiful location. And hopefully I get a room in there looking towards this side there. And of course, one room looking towards this side because I want to see my city there too. And already construction begins. Three timber already arrived. As the oxen are getting everything over. Probably the biggest construction beside the church. It's going to take us a while. 
Mm, by now it is May. We are getting close to summer now. Um, we still have 220 days for the royal tax, the first one. We do need five, so we should easily be able to do this. The last timber is being now delivered to the manor house. And the second house can begin. And there it stands, finally, policies have been unlocked in Sleepy Hollow with that, even though of course, unfortunately, we cannot use policies in the demo. We would have two points available at this point, I can't wait to unlock them at some point. And there it is, in all its glory, a beautiful big house. Do we have a... we don't even have a window on that side. That is a, a horrible construction error on my part. We do have a tiny window here, so I probably could be up there and look towards that view. Oh god. All right, so it's okay. It's okay. It's still it's still a majestic building there, right? I guess. Very good. Uh, we do have six timbers, so that should be enough to have the tax office then available as well. Tax collector four. Uh, let's have this one here on that side. It does need to have a road connection, so let's have it somewhere over here then. And I guess in the future we could have then more buildings piling up here that do need a road connection, right? In the demo we only have one more building then available, but I, I'm pretty confident that there's going to be more than that. So, oh yes, also we have these towers that I can add, um, but overall we could then have several buildings coming together here beside the road. Now, tax collector, let's start this one. Let's add a higher priority to this one so we can quickly finish it. And then we can finally tax our people as it is right And yeah, after a short period of time, we already have almost all the locks. There's the last one coming in. And we can finish also this beautiful building. We have 11 unassigned people right now. Um, yeah, one of them is definitely going to be a tax collector. However, let's also assign someone to the farmers. Uh, here, as we can see, the harvest is full now, right? So this they're still waiting 80 days now, but the harvest would be now what is estimated. So that's the maximum that it can grow, and it's also looking beautiful. Our fields of emmer. All three fields, by the way, are now fully grown. This one here still grows a bit, but it still has time as well. Alrighty. And just one more step, really. There it is. And there it is, in all its glory. A tax office now, too. So there is just the right size of windows so people can throw in the coins, I guess. No idea why it would need a road connection on that side otherwise. And let's just have a look at that. So two things we can get in the demo. The first one would be Geld and the other one the Tithe. So the Tithe is for the church. This one gives me influence as well as we know from the last playthrough. And with that we were able to push it beyond a 1000 influence. Unfortunately we cannot claim other territory. So we'll just be happy with the Geld for now. Let's uh, go with... One silver, that is already dropping my approval rating quite a bit, but we already will be having a, an income of 30, right? There it is, 30 personal money coming in now, and we only need 5, so we'll have plenty of coin by the time this uh, quest runs out then. Um, so we are fine now with the taxes, of course, approval-wise, uh, it will be going down now, so we should also add another industry, and that is then right on top with the barley harvest coming in. And that is our alcohol. So we still have 77 days. I could, however, already force the early harvest. A minimum crop growth for any kind of harvest needs to be 15% and ignores the harvesting season and harvests immediately. And I think we can activate this for the barley just safely now. And we have 10 people on the sensor. I really would like to start with my malt house then as well. So we can have the next production right here. And then also the brewery that whew, I need to squeeze in somewhere here, please. And hopefully we can do this somehow. It's, it's getting really tight here in the industry zone. Very good. So what I'm doing here is I'm moving the, the hunting cab a bit further out north so we can move the tannery in here into this location there which is still close enough. And then here we have the spot now available for the malt house and the brewery respectively. Uh, both of them also in my industry zone. And these are the last buildings I think we need to add to the industry zone. And then we have all the buildings available there to us. And they will then just safely continue now with producing alcohol for us. All right, that's that, uh, that's that, that's also working, and how's it looking? Yes, there is the harvest now coming in, quite a lot of it this year, so it's I think it's safe to, to harvest now. And the whole family, of course, is joining in, so we got six total field workers, making it 12 in total, because the wifeys help out as well. Another thing I would do right away is deleting that granary here now, 
So there is 340 still in stock. I wonder if it gets transferred over or if it's just getting lost. We still have plenty of room here, so 800 it is right now. Deleting it, um, it teleports resources to the nearest building to save them. Ah, that didn't work. <laughs> so we have now 300 food less, but we were over 1,000. It's still plenty, but it was not being transport, uh, transferred anywhere, really, I think. The storehouse, of course, certainly not. Doesn't store food. And this one here is still sitting at 800, right? Then next granary. So this was not working, but it's fine. So I waited specific specifically to have enough um, in the store so we are not uh, jeopardizing our village with that. Also, the next industry is already coming along, the malt house. We can assign someone to that as the barley harvest is in full spring. And also the tannery, let's assign someone to that again as well to make leather for us. Malt house, yeah, this should be working now, right? Waiting. Ah, the harvest is not over yet, right? So the harvest is being stored in the... There it is, now it's coming in to the farm, the barley. And the malt house will then do its job. Already transporting. Perfect. Getting the barley over. And construction of a brewery still will take some time, I think. Ah, uh, there's the locks coming. Guys, <laughs> I know where the food has been transported. To the manor house. It is full. 320 food in stock. So there's the bread, the vegetables, the milk and the eggs. Everything is still stored. Um, just now in the manor house, right? In the manor house, by the way, there's also lots of people that can move in here. So we are at 120 now uh, people and still nine unassigned. So lots of people are moving in here um, and they have, well, plenty of food for the foreseeable future. The brewery has finished up, so we can also assign someone to that. Now, hopefully the malt house is already working. Yes, there is someone working. <laughs> Making malt, as we can see. Have the first of that available and the brewery can now also start then producing beer out of that or ale sorry it's ale actually that we can then use for our tavern also for my market area i'm going to remodel this a bit we have so much timber at the moment that i don't care if we need to build the church again um, and we have so much workforce that it should be quickly done so so let's delete the church unfortunately bringing us to 25 timber um, and let's just go ahead and remove this road here Right, and then we, over there we have the, the granary that now has its connection then as well with this side there. That we have then one cohesive road, hopefully. And here I would like to have then the market area more or less this area there, right? This one can work. And then we have the church. And then hopefully also somehow the the ale house then closer to that. So that we have both of them kind of like connected here. And then we are rebuilding it. So there is now a, a well coming up here as well, right? The tavern is coming along closer to the industry zone so the workers can get there quickly, get their ale and also here then to the market. And then we have the church over there right behind it. Unfortunately, there is no other way of actually doing this other, uh, in here because I can't move the houses without building roads and you need to have the roads somehow around the market area and I can't squeeze both of these buildings in here for example so we're going to have the tavern over there as another kind of like means to go to towards the the industry sector the church is kind of like in the same position almost looking then to the back and closer to the manor house and I'm just waiting now really for this well here to finish let's put this one on highest priority there's also a second well now in construction over there so there's the water vein we need to make sure that we always have it over them Right, so I can't place wells everywhere. Um, probably, since we have one over there, um, I can also have another one down here, closer to my to my, uh, to my village, right? So every villager gets water whenever they need to. So we got three wells then uh, around the, the, the core city. And there's the tavern coming up and the church now too. It's going to take a while to finish both of these constructions, but we have so many people right now that it should be easily done. The same with the well. Another problem is that if I place the market area, it is overlapping the well, and I think the well is not working then anymore. There it is, the well is finished, so we can now delete this one. And I can now finally plant me a market area right over here, beside my tavern. There we have it. And on it, we do have then the food stalls, for example. Right, so they are looking towards the, the village in here, some of them. Let's get to work. 
probably going to make a few of them because they need to distribute different kind of foods, right? So there's another one over there and then probably another one here. And then we are going for the firewood stall. So right here, another one. Beside the, the food stall here and probably also then somewhere. Mm. Somewhere here? Make that sense? No, actually, let's keep it with two. And then the coal thing, we definitely need two of them. So another one we can have then right here and also one here. Unfortunately, that's all we can do for the market area, right? So I cannot have more stalls available than this. All right, I think the tavern is finished. Yes, tavern is finished. Let's assign someone to that. We should have ale at this point. Yep, 15 ale in stock. Very good. By the way, yeah, we also have four sheepies. Right, so they have all been imported now, four of them, producing us wool that we're going to need then for the weaver hut which is the last industry building the weaver workshop right and we could actually have this one over here then as well and i'm going to do this as we can just safely squeeze it in now also construction of the market has begun and also the church once again is coming up unfortunately we cannot move the church or the tavern right so once built you need to delete them if you want to move them just just taking them more time there it is the church now the tavern and then here the the market area that is already coming along here we can already move someone in into the first food stall there's the firewood already getting its resources another firewood stall and we definitely another food stall perfect this is where we get all the workforce now another firewood and then we of course need the clothing store There it is. Very good. And I would love to add more stalls here, but we don't have enough types, right? It's looking like a smaller medieval market there right now with different stalls everywhere. Just waiting for this one now. Clothing. Clothing. We have one more person then available. And as we can see, it's also being ticked now then here. So faith. Uh, entertainment is next. The food is ticked because we have two types. And then it's only all about the clothing that we still need to fix. I think we do need a third clothing stall actually. Last time it was it was required. So let's go ahead and have a third one. We could have it then also here so we make this row complete. Or we have it behind this one. So we kind of like begin now here also having this central area then, right? Where I could have more of them than here. Let's just do this because I want to have this one look somehow appropriate. like a proper bigger market there's the next clothing so two of them are filled now and both of them should receive then something like leather for example from the storehouse right we got 56 leather in store right now but also i'm looking forward to get then some yarn out of the weaver shop at the farm oh yeah the emmer harvest was also successful and we get the emmer now over and then also some grain with that now we are actually lacking workforce who would have thought And as we can see, food stall, the milk is coming in. There's also now the firewood being delivered then over here. And I think there we can see now, yes, the ladder being transported over. So people can also purchase something here then right away from the storehouse. Hmm. We will need a second storehouse, unfortunately. As this one is quite full. So I might have another one over there somewhere. Oh, but we do like timber. Of course we lack timber, we are building a pretty big market right now. Hey, give us a hand over here. Food is really fine, fuel is also looking better. I think we can safely reduce the amount of people in the farm. Get someone else at the windmill again. And the oven. Let's also reduce this for now as it's going to take a while for the flour to come in. And by the way, also now here the weaver workshop coming along. And with all that construction, there's not a lot of timber coming in because the oxen are all busy delivering the resources.
I wonder if I can assign someone. Yeah, but there is someone actually available. I would like to see if the stall becomes activated even though there's no one working in it, but only that someone idle could work in it. Would be interesting to know, and by the way, we can also reduce the trading post. And livestock trading, it's also not necessary anymore that we have someone there because we do have now enough livestock. I will add another one to the woodcutter because we definitely will need something for winter as this season is coming to an end soon. This year. And I'm just waiting for the weaver workshop now. It should be really close. There it is. And we can also assign someone to that now, as wool is definitely coming in now from the sheepies. Right, there we have it. 15 wool in stock already. And yeah, with that, we have all the types. And as we can see, 36 burrows are right now able to upgrade. We can go ahead now with the first ones and upgrade them to tier 2, even though that's quite expensive. But let's start here. 4 timber it costs each. And the second one we should also be able to upgrade right away. There you go. So the closest buildings to the market are going to be upgraded now. And we're going to need a lot of timber. I can see that already. <laughs> For all these upgrades. Let's set the work area once more over here. A bit further away perhaps. And there the upgrading already takes place. And there it is, a plot 2 building, looking already more majestic than the other ones, right? Has a proper wooden roof and is taller. I think we cannot house more people in it than before though, right? So there's currently, I think, no real bonus attached to it. And, oh yeah, we can have more plots here. Look at that. Later on then, I think a small bakery, a soap maker, this is looking like an anvil, so blacksmith perhaps also. And ale maker as well, so I think we can add then different types of it in the future. And there's the second one coming up. Church is ringing its bell. We have a lively city center here now. And there is also coming the third up already. And with that, we have finished comforts and conveniences. So the main quest of the demo, more or less, has been finished with that. We could now, of course, continue building a bigger village. But I think we are fine with that. We have a proper market. We have all the buildings now. We have all the types for my people. We have enough taxes. And that's it. That's the Mana Lords demo a second time on the higher difficulty. It wasn't that much more difficult, actually. Uh, just in the beginning, really. You need to really know the, the work order. But other than that, it's fine. And with these beautiful ultimate pr impressions, I leave you to it. I hope you enjoyed this second playthrough. And I can't wait for more features and more versions of this game to play for you to show as well with this really really gorgeous gorgeous and promising city builder stay tuned